Rightio, so as you can see, I've just hopped in the car. I'm already dressed in my wetsuit. I'm pretty keen to get out. The water looks super clear, so hopefully we can get some good footage and hopefully spear a fish or two to cook up later tonight. Every day we escape Losing all of our faith We can't live this way Feel me slowly fade away So guys, we finally made it back in. It was a really, really good dive. I done a big swim today. The water was really warm, probably a good 23 degrees. Uh, our haul's pretty good. We've got the two, two brim here, one, two. One was just floating at the start of the film, so I'm probably not gonna heat him. I'm probably gonna use him for crab bait in another uh, video. We've also got nice flat head and a 28 centimeter whiting. The legal size is 27. It was a bit smaller than I thought, but still over the legal size. So I'm just gonna fill it brim, flathead and the whiting, put this one in the freezer. And I'll... So finally got back, I was going to do the catch and cook on the beach but the beach is quite windy at the moment so I have a perfect little spot out the back of my house here. I've just uh, set up a table with everything that we're going to use. We're going to be doing a panko crumb fish and just homemade chips. So just have my portable camp gas stove, just a uh, greasable pan, salt and pepper, the fillets that I knocked off the fish earlier, 
a knife, an egg, flour, just plain flour, olive oil, two paper bags, some potatoes, homemade coleslaw, panko crumbs, and just a few utensils. So, let's get cooking. Alrighty, so first things first, I'm just gonna put a bit of plain flour into one of our paper bags. And these paper bags are actually gonna be our shaker bags that we're gonna put the fish in. We have our second paper bag we're going to put our panko crumbs in. Next, I'm just going to whisk an egg. All right, I just got these three bits of flathead here the tail sections I'm going to be cooking up. So firstly we'll get our paper bag full of plain flour, drop them all in there. The reason why I'm using paper bags is just so I don't have to keep using a heap of plastic ones. I'll give it a good shake. Done. Perfectly coated flathead tails. Right, that's done. Next, we're going to do them individually into the egg wash. Make sure to get a good coating of egg over all of them. Open up your panko crumb bag and whack them in there. Give them another good shake. And there you have one fully coated panko crumb fillet. Okay, so our pan's heated up a bit. We're just gonna add some extra virgin olive oil in here. Generous amount. Before we put our fish in, I'm just going to cut up these potatoes into wedges, we'll whack them in. Now I will season these, but I'll season them at the end.
Okay, so these chips have been on one side for about five minutes now. So I'm just gonna flip them over with the fork. They're looking pretty nice. Perfect, now that's done. Fish takes about five minutes to cook. So I'll just add a bit more oil. And after five minutes, the fish are done. And also the chips will be done. I'll whack the fish on now. Okay, so the fish should be nearly out ready to flip. Nice and golden brown. Come on. Stubborn fish. All right, so another two minutes on that and then we'll be done. While that's cooking, I'll get my coleslaw ready. I'm only having a small amount today because I had a big lunch. Right, that's the coleslaw done. Chips are looking good, we'll get them out. I'll make sure I season those chips. Okay, so that should be our fish perfectly cooked. Just get it out. Mm. And there we have it. Freshly caught flooded, speared right in the river about four hours ago, homemade chips and coleslaw. So thanks for watching another video guys. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell icon so you get notifications every time I upload a video. I'm going to try aim to upload one every week. I'm going to tuck into this. Thanks for watching.